What's going on, Saber dudes, Saber ladies? Um, today I'm going to go ahead and um, do a, another video. Um, this one is a goodbye video to a really old, older Saber of mine. Back when I first got in to the hobby, I was buying a bunch of Saber Forge hilts off eBay for the most part, just whatever I could get. Um, and I loved them. I, I still, I still have a thing for Saber Forge hilts. I know. Uh, a lot of people out there have a sour taste in their mouth for the company, but, um, I mean, I, I still enjoy some of them. Uh, I don't know about purchasing any more, if I will or not, it's just, we'll see. But, this one is, um, somebody in town, in my town. I was, uh, featured in the, the local paper that had an article about me and this, uh, this channel and like this services I, I, I provide and whatnot and just savers in general. So they did an article on me. It was really cool. But I had a lot of people reach out to me, and um, I had a wife reach out for her husband about getting him one, and they just wanted to get one real quick. And I was like, well, I have one for sale. Um, and it's the Saber Forge Chosen. I made him a box real quick. Real quick box that uh, I kind of had laying around and I put together, um, finished it up and whatnot. But inside, we got the Chosen, Saber Forge Chosen. That looks pretty good sitting in there. She's an apprentice style hilt from Saber Forge. So. A little more slender. I have another one. I have another, I have another like one or two apprentice style hilts from Saber Forge that are, um, you know, I use them pretty much for swinging around and dueling the rare occasions that I duel with somebody. Um, but this one I never really did much with. I got it a long time ago and, um, sent it off Jordan Mall. <laughs> and they had it for like a year and a half and I was like, just give it back, buddy. So I finally got it back. Did the install myself. It has a Nano Biscotti version 3 um, and a Quad Cree um, green which is super bright. So I just recharged it. Let's get right to it. Super bright. Brighten you, I'll try not to because this has uh, tr uh quad crease in there, no blade plug because of the thin neck aspect and the little nipple that comes out to hug the blade. So, I'll try not to bright, try not to blind you. Oh. I'll keep on hitting it. Sucker's pretty loud. It's got a premium speaker, um, chassis 18650, lithium ion battery, external recharge port, AV switch. I mean, I built this a long time ago to be very user friendly in case I ever did want to sell it to somebody. So, really, all you got to do, and I usually do that for like present savers, you know, the ones that I'm getting giving people for the holidays or, um, kids you know of age of a, of a proper age basically people who just want one and don't really want to have to because he'll he'll never have to take this pommel off unless he wants to access something which you know he won't so having an external recharge port you just plug it in uh plug it in plug it in the wall like goes green you're charged let's put that blade in there so we ordered it up the blade. 
Oh, I always do that. <laughs> if I was a Jedi, I wouldn't have hands. Well, here we go, quad creep. Just four green die. Sucker is bright. <laughs> So, this saber, I, I, I've realized, I'm going to switch once. But I realized I will kind of miss a little bit because as a thin neck goes, um, it's just really comfortable. Like, there's no box, there's no control box, there's nothing. Um, if you want a good thin neck, durable, because this is all one piece minus the pommel. Pommel's the only thing that threads on and off. Um, that's fun to swing around, man. It's comfortable, nothing gets in the way. Nothing on this one is sharp. I mean, evenly lit all the way down. This sucker's bright. But yeah, um, two sound fonts. The Nano Biscotti version 3 holds two sound fonts. Uh, what? Eight swings, eight clashes. One sound bank. I mean, uh, one, one power on, one power off. Hum. Uh, the settings in this are not stock i i tweaked the nano biscotti version 3 soundboard as best i could and i think i got a pretty good balance or when you swing it but yeah very bright there's no denying that Evenly lit, too. So, yeah, I sent this off to Jordan Mall a long time ago. And um, all of us in the community, we all know how that went down. Um, I was fortunate enough. He was very nice to me. And um, I got my hilts back. I had two with him. And I pleaded with him for months. And I was like, hey, listen, man. Um... By this time, I know how to install, dude. Please just send my stuff back, and I won't really worry about any hey, of the price, you know, money refund, because it was just a whole mess. So I got it back, and then I just went to town on it. And um, it turned out good, man. This is a good little hill. I love it. Um, and, and like I said, uh, as far as apprentice size for uh, Saber Forge, it's a very comfortable size. I mean, it's perfect two hands. There's nowhere on it. Saberforge is kind of known for having sharp edges. There is not a single sharp edge on this thing, and I and I'll, I'll miss it. I haven't really thought about that in a while. This is one that you know sits on my shelf that I've been willing to sell for to somebody who would enjoy it more. I just have so many hilts now that it's just one of those ones that I'm like, um, which one would I get rid of? And this one I would gladly like to to send to somebody who, who will enjoy it. And hopefully he will as much as I did over the last year or two. Um, but yeah, I mean, that green is just cool. I love that green color. So there you have it. Um, I'll be sending it off tomorrow. We're actually dropping it and delivering it off in person. Um, get to get a chance to meet him. Probably do some future builds in the, or some builds for him in the future. Uh, but for now, he was just like, I want something... Because it was it was kind of difficult on one of the hardest parts about people who don't uh, who are just getting into the hobby and um, or not even just getting into the hobby somebody just wants a lightsaber. Um, it's the number one hardest question to answer is when people are like, uh, "I want a lightsaber." And people, well, what do you want? And they're like, "I don't know, just this one." And you're like, "I need a lot more information than that." <laughs> so it's like one of those things where. Um, because I don't personally want to be like, I'm not out to, you know, pull a fast one on anyone. I'm like, this is what you get for this price, for this amount of time, turn around, all that stuff. Um, 
and he got a good deal. He got, uh, obviously, I'm gonna hook somebody up if I can, and um, and I can use that money towards you know other bills or not being broke. <laughs> but um, yeah, the uh, the box. I just last minute I was like, you know what, man, let's give you something good. He originally wanted um, like a ROTJ. Uh, Luke Skywalker hero, you know, but the uh, control boxes and all that stuff. He was like, I, I don't want that. Um, if there's any way we can do without it, and I was like, I got you. Oh, I'm solid, like exactly what you want. It's almost like it was meant to be. I was like, dude, I will sell this to you gladly. So we'll be getting this into a new home. I just wanted to show off uh, one last little goodbye to it. Honestly, I'm um, I'm kind of sad to see it go. It's a fun hill. It's just swinging it around is extremely comfortable. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick another one up someday. But uh, yeah, Sable Forge Chosen, Quad Cree. Um, this is another reason why I wanted to do the video. I think I've done a couple videos mainly nowadays. I'm strictly smooth swing or smooth swing. Well, I'm trying. Um, strictly uh, Neo Pixel. Um, so I don't have many examples of, of tri crease anymore. I've got maybe like two or three sabers. This is the only one I have with uh, quad crease. Four green die, shooting up there, getting as bright as I can. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm sure a lot of people, to them, this isn't news of a saber. This is, you know, this is pretty standard stuff, especially for the last couple of years. Um, to us, people who want, you know, a lot more like, you know, crystal chambers and, and all the craziness but to a lot of people who uh, have never never held a lightsaber <laughs> freaking snoke um there's uh there's a lot of people out there who don't know a thing about any of this stuff and to them that is all they want and, and that's i miss that i miss that whole feeling of uh i guess just just being super happy with with whatever i got because now I'm, you know, I'm a little bit more of a saber snob myself, but I mean, I've been in the hobby for like four years and I got certain requirements, um, but I, I, I envy that feeling of like, can't wait to get the saber. It's going to be bright. It's going to swing around, make noise. Like that's all you need. I envy that man. Um, super cool. Uh, hopefully they like it. Hopefully you guys, um, enjoy, uh, Variety, like I said, I try. I'm gonna try to mix it up a lot. A lot of the, a lot of my stuff, my collection and, and whatnot, is very much the same, the same kind of uh, saber stuff. Um, being like smooth swing, you know, picks on all that, whatnot. But there are a lot of things to look into. I want to try some other boards. I do a lot of collector boards, uh, and you know, I, I've always dug collector boards. I mean, they're just <laughs> I got a collector board within reach. They're just always. Uh, it's what I learned on. Um, it's what I dig. Easy to use, fun to fun to play with, uh, but there's a lot of boards coming out that I want to that I want to try my hand out, um, you know. But almost almost gone with the with the Nano Biscotti version three. It's kind of an end of an era. All right, well, I've been up way too long, getting tired. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'll uh, like I said, I got more more stuff coming. We'll go ahead and say goodbye to an oldie but a goodie. Save a force chosen. Sleep tight, sweet prince. Alright guys, I'll check you later.